Hello boys and girls! Hello boys and girls! Great to see you. Welcome back to another assembly with Fabian and Martin. Who's Martin? I'm Martin. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, now, boys and girls, I've got a question for Fabian. I wonder what your answer would be. Fabian? Yeah? Uh, I wonder how high you would go to see something wonderful and spectacular and beautiful. Hmm. How high would I go? Yeah, how high would you go? How high would you want to go? Well, I have been to the top of our church. Oh yeah, top of Holy Trinity Church. It's a tall church, isn't it, Fabian? Oh yeah, very tall. What did you see? Oh, it's beautiful, Martin. Beautiful, boys and girls. Beautiful, was it? Yeah, I got to see all of Phil. Did you really? Yep, and beyond. And beyond, wow. I bet it looked beautiful from up there, didn't it, Fabian? Oh, it really did. Brilliant. Would you go even higher? To see something beautiful? Hmm, I'm not sure. Get a bit scared of heights. Did you get a bit scared of heights? Oh, sorry about that. Oh, well, you did very well going to the top of Holy Trinity Church then. Yeah, thanks. Um, what about you? What about me? Oh, well, um, well, I really, really want to go to the top of Mount Everest because at the top of Mount Everest, you would see for miles and miles, and I hear it's absolutely beautiful. Really? Top of Mount Everest? You can't do that. Oh, what a mean thing to say. I would never say that you can't do that. Well, okay. You can't do that. I can, I can, and I will. What? I will. You will? Yeah, right now. You wait here, boys and girls, you wait there. I'll be right back. Really? Yep. made it! The top of Mount Everest! What a view! It's amazing! Oh! Oh! Now I've got to get down. Oh! Well I did it! Oh! Well done Martin! Thanks very much! Oh it's hard work! Was it? Oh it was! It's a bit chilly boys and girls! Bit chilly! Bit cold! Bit cold! Um, But there we are! I did it! I did it! I went to the top of Mount Everest just like I wanted to! Yay! Do you know, boys and girls, we're going to meet someone today in our true story from the Bible who also did some climbing. Really? Yeah, who? Oh, his name was Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus! Ooh, yes. And um, we find out about him in Luke's Gospel. Zacchaeus, he did some climbing too because he wanted to see something spectacular and wonderful. Actually, oh, he wanted to see someone spectacular and wonderful and he climbed and he climbed oh he climbed and he climbed he did climb and climb and he climbed all the way what all the way what to the top of a what what tree a tree a tree yeah that's not very tall well maybe not it was a tree like this one. Oh, what's that that's a sycamore tree. And that, oh, that's in a place called Jericho, that tree. And it may have looked a little bit like the one that Zacchaeus climbed. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's find out now why Zacchaeus climbed that tree. Okay. Listen up, boys and girls. Jesus went on into Jericho and was passing through. There was a chief tax collector there named Zacchaeus, who was rich. He was trying to see who Jesus was, but he was a little man and could not see Jesus because of the crowd. So he ran ahead of the crowd and climbed the sycamore tree to see Jesus, who was going to pass that way. When Jesus came to that place, he looked up and said to Zacchaeus, 
Hurry down, Zacchaeus, because I must stay in your house today. Zacchaeus hurried down and welcomed him with great joy. All the people who saw it started grumbling. This man has gone to be a guest in the home of a sinner. Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Listen, sir, I will give half of my belongings to the poor, and if I have cheated anyone, I will pay back four times as much. Jesus said to him, Salvation has come to this house today, for this man also is a descendant of Abraham. The Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Well, I wonder, boys and girls, if you noticed that there were some people around Jesus and Zacchaeus who were very cross. Oh, I noticed them. They were so cross that Jesus went to spend time with Zacchaeus. They were very cross. Why? Oh, because they believed that if Jesus was so special, he should only be spending time with really, really good people, not people like Zacchaeus. Oh, really? Really. But all people mess up. Nobody is good all the time. That is true. Nobody is good all the time. Apart from Jesus. Apart from Jesus. Yeah. Those people who were very cross, and in fact Zacchaeus, and you and me, boys and girls, we all needed to learn a really important lesson. And it came right at the very end of our true story from the Bible today. Oh, I remember. You do? Yeah. Um, hmm. Jesus said, I have come to seek and to save the lost. You're right, he said the Son of Man, that's a title for Jesus, that he came to seek and to save the lost, lost people. Not like being lost in a shop or in a, on a beach or something like that. No, being lost in the Bible is when we turn away from God and go our own way. Oh, there's a word for that. There is a word for that. It's sin. It is sin, you're right. So when we turn our back, on God, our backs on God, and go our own way and not God's way. Jesus said he came to seek and to save people who wander away from God. So you see, Zacchaeus was exactly the right sort of person for Jesus to be with. In fact, we all are, because we all, at times, wander away from God and go our own way and not God's way. Well, that's true. So Jesus came for you, for me, for the boys and girls, for the boys and girls as well. It's brilliant, isn't it? Jesus came for us. Did you notice as well, it made a massive difference to Zacchaeus' life. Oh yeah, I did, yeah. He gave so much money back. He did, didn't he? He, he realised he had cheated people. He had done wrong to people and he wanted to make up for it. Thing is, he was already rescued. Jesus said that salvation came to his house. Zacchaeus wanted to show that his heart had changed. We can show that our hearts have been changed too, not by giving money away or anything like that, but by listening to Jesus and responding to how good Jesus is. Oh, so what might that look like, Martin? Well, ultimately, it looked like listening to Jesus. Jesus has the words to show us how we can live in God's world as God's friends. Oh, well, where? The Bible. Oh, yeah. OK, so as we can read the Bible, we can hear what Jesus has to say about being God's friends in his world. It's wonderful, wonderful news. I think that climbing that tree for Zacchaeus was the best thing that he could have ever done because he got to meet his saviour, Jesus. And we don't have to climb a tree to meet our saviour. We can open up the Bible and read for ourselves. Well, I know. Boys and girls, that very last sentence from our true story from the Bible, the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. It's a really important verse, and I think it'd be worth learning. Oh, great. How? How? Oh, a memory verse song. Oh, I love a memory verse song. Me too. Boys and girls, keep watching. We're going to learn this together. And then, baby and me, we will see you next Wednesday for our next assembly. We will, we will. So we will see you then. Have a great rest of your day. See you soon, boys and girls. Bye, boys and girls. Great to see you. Bye. Bye, boys and girls. Bye. Bye.
Luke 19, Luke 19, Luke 19 verse 10. Luke 19, Luke 19, Luke 19 verse 10. Seek and save, seek and save, seek and save the lost. Seek and save, seek and save, seek and save the lost. The Son of Man came to seek and save. Luke 19, Luke 19, Luke 19 verse 10. 